All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. Okay, so this is the Kubi Elong, or the KU 365E sent to me by Kubi. Thank you so much for doing that. And guys, I really appreciate this. This is a really interesting knife. Now I'm gonna read this off of Kubi's website. Now we have a bunch of different models. You got this uh, green micarta and be blasted, uh, which is 5250. And then you've also got a green micarta with a black blade. Uh, you've got Jade G10 with a black blade. All of these are 5250. Orange with a bead blasted blade. Jade with a bead blasted blade. And orange with a black blade. All of these um, are 5250, normally 70. So they've got them on sale as I'm recording this video for 25% off. How cool is that? Now, this is designed by Sebastian Irwan. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. It might be Irawan. I am not sure. You have a hole for your opening, your main opening method that can be middle finger flicked or thumb flicked. And you do have the ability uh, to front flip it. It's not quite as easy, but it's also not a tab, a front flipper tab that comes back and kicks your butt. It comes down nice and easy and doesn't pinch you right there, which is great. And I can do it. Uh, so very, very cool. Now it is flat micarta scales as you can see with a chamfer here and a chamfer here with some banding which is really cool uh, you do have your coat your kubi pivot you have a reversible pocket clip area here and a lanyard hole uh your backs back you don't have a backspace you have barrel spacers uh, and again guys just like always when you have a chamfer the screws are going to stand up just a little bit and you have a pocket clip here that is deep carry with just a little bit sticking out. Uh, sits on top with um, the uh, screws flat there. You see your steel back here, which is OS 10 right there. Um, and again, great jimping up here at the top. Now, this is a full size, big old boy knife. Uh, plenty of four finger grip there. And you can uh, kind of choke up on this flat. I wouldn't get in here. Uh, it's just too close to the edge. I just kind of count that as a sharpening choil, but um, you can definitely get this four finger grip back here or you can choke back or whatever. Now, when you're in this normal grip, I will say this, this where it flattens out right here, right there, okay? They should have chamfered that just a little bit right there because at least in my hand on my pinky, that is digging in right there, right there. Just that kind of flared out spot from that milling right there. See the where the milling ends? It's just sharp right there. It just would be nice if they had chamfered that. Now, for some of you with smaller hands, that's not even going to come into play. Your jimping is right there. Clip, uh, you can feel it, but it's definitely not a hot spot for me. It's just that one spot back there, um, and that's it. Now, Great looking sheep's foot blade. You have your hole deployment. I like that shape of hole. Nice straight back here with your spine all the way out. No swedging, but it does narrow down here towards the tip. And uh, guys, this one, ah, sorry. Uh, let's find a piece of cardboard here. I guess I'm about out. I got to restock over here. Um, is a slicer. That is the money part of this knife. This guy, if you just want something to just destroy cardboard or, you know, any kind of EDC cutting, uh, you can always tell when I really like how a knife cuts because I just keep doing it. Look at this. Just fantastic. Now you get all this to clean up, Casey. Look at that. Just a cutter. This is a phenomenal knife. Uh, I'm going to wipe it now because I now have a mess, um, which is fine. Uh... All right, make it look nice and pretty. Now you do have this kind of bead blasted finish here. Uh, not necessarily my favorite, uh, but it's not bad. I mean, it's it's kind of got this, there's your one's logo or however you say his name. You do have plenty of relief on your edge and a full tall flat grind, which is why this is so, even though it's a thicker piece of steel up here, it is definitely uh, a slicer. Now, um, this guy, good action, you can see, nice, just kind of comes down. I mean, it's a big blade, so of course it's just going to come down. 
very nice on the action department. Your lockup is about a 25 to 30 there. Even way out here, I don't feel a lot of play. Uh, I don't feel any play, actually, and I don't feel any lock rock um, at all. Very nicely done. Your centering is off to the show side just slightly on this one. Uh, can you see that? Just a little bit. We do come uh, very close to the end here. You can see any further, and, and you'd be hitting your hand on the way down. So good call there. Let's move some of this stuff so we can do our comparisons. Good grief, guys. Who's making this? Me oh, yeah, that was me. All right. I think we got most of it out of here now. There we go. All right. So we are going to do our comparisons here, and then we'll roll through our um, specs, and then we'll be done. This is the Ontario Rat 1, and it is bigger than the Rat 1. How about that? And it is also bigger, a lot bigger than the Rat 2. Now, uh, let's talk about, we'll leave those there. It's the KU365E. Uh, this one's green. It's 8.98, so almost 9 inches, with a 3.94, almost 4 inch blade. Uh, the handle length is 5.04. Again, no problem. Uh, handle thickness, 0.59. So it's a little thicker, which again would lead to that uh, feel in your hand. Austen, uh, 59 to 61 on the hardness. Bead blast finish sheep's foot blade with a high flat. It's it's full flat, in my opinion. Ambidextrous, uh, caged ceramic ball bearings. Uh, and by the way, you do have some milling inside, quite a bit of milling. For weight reduction in there but it's 4.62 ounces but again it's it's a nine inch knife so it is what it is made in china and designed by sebastian irwan what do you guys think of this one i am pretty impressed overall again if you like a big knife i did a comparison the other day on a short uh it's very close to the size of the uh, kaiser bed glider xl uh very very close to that size and the same thing as uh, very close to the Miguron Valona as well. Just a big, big uh, knife. And, and you know what? I'm on board with that. Uh, so thank you, Kubi, for sending this along. This will probably, I mean, this will be given away on the channel at some point. Um, not right now, but at some point. And I really am appreciative of you guys sending me some knives to check out. Um, our viewers love to see... Uh, so many options out there. And Kubi's action, guys, there's just the detent on this is dialed perfectly uh, so that I can do that and, and I can do this. And I can also, without a lot of leverage here, front flip it pretty easily for me. So very, very nice. There you go, guys. Uh, sorry for the glare there. Let me know what you think of this one. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.